So I thought I'd show you um, what it looks like when you run a CBR engine out of oil, um, or any engine for that matter. Um, so this one in particular um, didn't have a uh, oil filter put on properly or tight enough or something um, as the person who uh, was riding it was going uh, the oil filter spun out and all the oil went on the road and um, seized the motor um, so here's what happens to the uh, connecting rods um, oops so these are the little caps that go on the end of the um, the connecting rods around the crankshaft, around here, here, there, and over there. Um, so you'll see here, um, let me get a good one. So this is an example of a connecting rod uh, with rod bearings that are good uh, enough, at least. So right here, you can see the uh, little you can right here you can see the little um the holder um, and what happens when you run it out of oil um, that starts to wear down um, and it looks like it starts to overheat and uh wear down and then it starts to look like this uh, which you know might not look too bad but you can see over here that the um, little spot where it fits in is all but non-existent you can just basically see the um, end there so you can see it won't connect it won't fit it won't hook right in that little spot there so um, this I mean these connecting rods and bearings and uh, crankshaft um, uh, probably the crankshaft too um, are basically unusable so yeah, don't run your uh, don't run your motor out of oil. I'm gonna put this thing back together now because I wanted to pull that out to show you, and um, I needed to put a timing timing chain on it. So let's get to it. <laughs> 